Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Judith Polgar and Zendrei that was played in Budapest in 1984. Where is Budapest? Budapest is the capital city of Hungary. In this game, Judith Polgar had white pieces and she started with e4. Black played c5, so we have Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4, pawn takes pawn, knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, attacking pawn on e4, knight to c3, defending, a6, Sicilian Nidorf, bishop to c4, e6, bishop to b3, bishop to e7. So the fence that black is playing is some kind of Scheveningen and Nidorf mix. f4, black castle kingside, queen to f3, knight from b to d7, and g4 was played. Let's go back. The most popular move in this position is bishop to e3, and then whitefoot castle queenside. But Judith played g4. Does it look scary? Pawn is coming to g5. Well, in this position, black panicked and didn't find the best move. Perhaps knight to c5 would be the best. He played e5, attacking knight, but knight is not going back. Judith played knight to f5, attacking bishop. Knight to c5, knight takes bishop, queen takes knight, and now knight which is on c3 can't wait to jump to d5, which is fantastic square for knight. So Judith played g5, chasing defender of d5 square, knight from f to d7, and now knight to d5 is possible. Judith played f5, black played a5, knight to d5 attacking queen, queen to d8, and now many people would play bishop to e3 with the idea to cast the queen side, but Judith played rook to g1. She is only interested in attacking. b6, rook to g4, why not to g3? Because queen is coming to h3. That's a possibility. Black captured bishop, a takes on b3, knight to c5, and we have reached critical position of the game. It is white to move and to play a killer move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that white played in this position. Are you ready? What is your move? Would you play queen to h3? If you would, that is winning too. Rook to h4 is winning also. But Judith's choice was a bit fancier. She played knight to f6. This is check. And if king goes to h8, then rook to h4 threatening checkmate. Pawn takes knight, queen to h5, and there is checkmate on h7. So in this position, black captured knight. Pawn takes pawn, this is check from rook. King to h8, queen to h3. And in this position, black resigned. Can you blame him? What can black do in this position? Well, let's try one variation. Black is losing in all variations, but we'll choose this one. Queen takes on f6. Then bishop to g5 attacking queen. And where is queen going now? She can go to g7. But after bishop to e7, queen is lost. So black didn't want to play. He 
just designed at move 21. Let's go back to this position. In this position, instead of playing bishop to e3, which is the standard move, Judith played g4 and succeeded in her attack and won very brilliantly. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chance and bye for now.